Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 3rd, and today was a gorgeous day outside weather-wise. Hardly a cloud in the sky, had some breeze going, but it did get plenty, plenty hot today. Um, definitely um, warmer than I'd like it to be, but it could have been a whole lot worse. So, went ahead, got up this morning, um, woke up, just... I don't know, exhausted as all get out. Um, I had crazy dreams. I got woke up probably six different times throughout the night from the most vivid, um, crazy dreams I've had in months. It was absolutely ridiculous what shape I was in. So one of the dreams, in the dream, I was actually dreaming that I was shoveling snow. And I was shoveling out all my, both my driveways and stuff. And I was blowing on my shovel that was probably 65 feet to 100 feet, something like that, of just deep heavy crazy snow and that was the first one I really it woke me up and I woke up and I swear to you my back and my shoulders and my neck was so sore and I was so my arms hurt even right now still I mean after all day my arms hurt like as if I've been shoveling snow all damn day like it's the most weird thing it's almost like the dream was real and it like I like I said I was exhausted I woke up from it every part of my body hurt from it um, just and it still is tender, um, almost just like as if I had been out shoveling for hours, and it was the weirdest damn thing. I haven't had a dream be that vivid and that real in the longest time. So, either the dream really screwed with me, or I'm a time traveler. I don't know which. So, hoping it's not time traveling. So, if I got that time traveling ability, I'd like to think I didn't go um, forward or back a few months and just shovel my driveway out. It's like a real waste of time, but. Who knows, maybe this winter I'll come out one day and my driveway will be fully shoveled on both driveways and I'll be like, holy crap, that dream was real. So then I'll be impressed by it, but right now, oh my God, it sucked ass. So I uh, had many other dreams. I think I had, like I said, five or six different times I woke up from just the most horrendous, wretchedly vivid dreams. It just really screwed me. So when I finally did actually wake up, I didn't get up right away. I kind of hung around bed and just kind of chilled out a little bit there and realized that my uh, neck and back and shoulder were out. I fell off a ladder um, washing the roof of my van, and I didn't fall like down and hit my head or anything, but in the process of catching myself and falling off there, landing on my feet, kind of one foot on the ladder, last rung and one on the ground, and trying to catch myself my left arm, I threw a bunch of stuff out of whack. So the last couple of days I've not been sleeping with a damn, and then last night was just horrendous. So I decided to go to the chiropractor, um, the chiropractor that I used to see years ago had started like double and triple booking his appointments and it's just horrendous when he then he'll fall behind and it's one of those things where the secretaries take do the booking but he allows them to get away with it and then he falls behind he has no time to talk to you no time to really work on you and a lot of times you're an hour hour and a half out past your appointment to even get back in the room and I just got tired of it so I stopped seeing that dude which I'd been seeing him for literally my entire um, life. I mean, I think I went to him the first time I was like a teenager. You know, might have been 12 years old, something like that, first time I saw him. And I'd given up on him. I'd went back one other time, and same thing happened. It was like third visit. Because I told him the reason I'd left was because of the overscheduling. And the first couple times they'd scheduled me where I was the only one there so he could get to me on time. Three times in, I had a, I was delayed. And third time I was delayed there, this last chunk of going in there. There was three of us with 345 appointments. All three was in the waiting room, and it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And we all three had 345. So now we're an hour and 15 minutes past our appointment. And there's three of us that had that. And I heard Lay on the phone saying, well, he's kind of booked up right now, but if you just stop on in, we'll squeeze you in sometime today. And I thought, I'm done. So I went and told him I'm canceling my appointment, and I'd never be back again. So I ended up finding myself a new chiropractor here in town. Actually, I found a few since then that I was going to. One of them's in Des Moines, and I just... They, I don't know. It was the pricing, the traveling stuff. I liked the idea you could just stop in. He had um, walk-ins available, which was awesome. And he had a group on deals, how I found him originally. And he's a good guy, good chiropractor and that, but I can't afford the cost of him with the gas or anything else involved. And then not having a you know coupon or whatever Groupon type deal. And he wasn't willing to make, I don't know, just it was one of those things I, I couldn't afford it. So stopped going to him. And I found a new guy here in town. Um, doesn't do the walk-ins, which isn't a big deal. And I was in there for quite a bit, first time, you know, patient, blah, blah, whatever. And just did the handful of general stuff. Um, he wants to see me again tomorrow, which is really, I don't know, unusual for me. I agreed to go back. I My shoulder and stuff's out so bad that my running's really affected by it. And I've got my race coming up at the 12th. So 
if I've got to go back, um, they're off Monday, so I can't with the holiday and that. So it'd be Tuesday before I get see him. And I think I'm going to be hitting the road by Wednesday, the latest, you know, kind of thing. So I got to get that figured out pretty, pretty quick. So I saw him this afternoon, like 530, I think like that, whatever the hell it was. And I'm going back to see him at 945 tomorrow morning, which is really unlike me at all. Like I said, to see a chiropractor that quick together. But hopefully he can get me fixed up. And right now I'm still sore um, to be expected after being adjusted. It always happens to me. So seems like a cool guy. Um, talked about rescuing dogs and different things and whatnot and stuff. And really just had a good conversation. He seems like knows what he's doing. Every chiropractor adjusts you just a little bit differently. So it's kind of learning curve there. But I felt stuff move around really well. So that's a good thing for me. So hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. And we will go from there. So I uh, before I went to him, I did come home um, after doing some running and stuff. I had a good deal. Went and mowed um, the lots across town. I, I mow for another guy that has some empty lots he's got for sale. Got them mowed out, got home, started mowing here. And I realized I'm like, it's hot enough that I'm sweating, honestly, just sweating while riding a riding lawnmower. So that's, you know, it's a hot ass day is when you're sweating just by riding a lawnmower. And then I had to push and mow the front and backyard of my own house. I actually push mow, I don't ride it. The front yard, I don't like the way it looks when you ride it. It's just so much better with that um, Fisker real style mower. Turns out much nicer looking grass. And the backyard, I've got it fenced in for Bruce and the, I never put a big gate in it. It's just it's not big enough to get a rider in there. So went ahead and said to heck with it. Um, got that mowed up and just sweating like a pig. It's gross, so gross out there for the heat. So that was pretty much my big part of the day. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.